like that. Held on by paint. That's all that was left. Yeah. Like most things in my cabin build, I have to uh, make some adjustments. So I've been dropping the walls down on this end because they're dried out. And I'm flipping them over too because all the dried out mildewy grossness. I wanted to put the wood stove in the very corner, but I can't because I forgot that on the ends I have, I don't have the 16 inch space. So it's gonna waste some space on me, which stinks, but I'm gonna move it over here. Um, that way I can go straight out between the studs and line everything up, which also means I have to make a larger form for the concrete block to go under it with the river stone. So everything is going to end up taking longer. So this is my homemade thimble. It's made out of an old Weber grill that somebody was throwing out. So I just used a uh, grinding wheel and cut star pattern out to the four inch. That would be for the pipe. This is roughly how the little stove is going to sit in here. And that's our uh, junk uh, barbecue stove thimble that I made. So I think it'll look pretty good. I'm eventually going to do uh, concrete and river rock up the walls. But for now, I'm going to use the doors and the bent pieces of uh, stainless off that same off that same uh, stove to make a protection barrier for the wood.
take my first serving of crab and cheese. Okay, so like everything on the channel, <clears throat> our heat shielding is done on a budget too. Somebody was throwing out a Weber grill, and the same way I cut the thimble out of that with the black, with the stainless, I'm going to use it as a reflector from the wall, kind of protect the wall from the heat of the stove. <clears throat> with that, I need spacers. Well, they sell spacers, but they wanted like $22 for spacers. So somebody had thrown out a old weight bench, a little one. And I cut that weight bench up into little, you know, three quarter inch by one inch squares, drilled through them. And those are going to be the spacers off the wall for our tin. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is just how I'm doing it. Don't follow my lead. Go ahead and do by code or whatever the, the safest way is to keep yourself protected. But this is how I'm doing it at a cabin. So I'm just showing you how I do it. Okay, so I've got the spacers already attached to the screws. Now when I attach this to the wall, I have a one inch space around all of my metal. So, and it should just screw right in. nice part about the second piece that I'm putting on is this was actually the door to the front. It's got a built-in gap of almost one inch. So with that space, I can screw it directly to the wall and I should be absolutely fine because we have one inch space all the way around. So that's how it's going to look, something like that. My holes punctured in with the nail. So this is how our corner is going to look, get that out of the way. So we got some good reflection coming off there, we're protected on the bottom. We have our little mini stove on top of our homemade slab. And yes, that is a little bit of a cob job on the pipe going up into the wall. But uh, you can hear she's roaring in there. Let's see, look at that. That is gonna be awesome. And I might add some tin to the joists up above, coming across just to make sure they don't get too hot either. Right now, this is double insulated pipe, so it shouldn't get that hot. It just has this section here where it's gonna rise up. So I wanna make sure that's okay. But so far we're looking good.